Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is Minister Paul, a watchman on the wall in Northern California, February 20th, 2017, at 10.22 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. It's pressed upon my heart to come on here and, and share my faith. I want to present unto God my faith, my faith in him. I found this video from yesterday from California Offices of Emergency uh, Services, OES. <clears throat> this was yesterday before the, the storm hit, uh, taken by the, the National Guard. And I just want to show you how much, this is not just an Oroville Dam situation, how much Northern California and Southern California have been affected by this weather. Now, right now, as I speak, we're, we're seem to be sitting in a break, in a calm before the storm. It's very bizarre because we woke up with heavy winds and rain, and now it's been quiet for about two hours, and we just know, we know what's coming. We, we, we see what's coming. And uh, this is a man who has dedicated his life to Jesus Christ, who is showing you his faith in action. I will not be moved. But I know there's many people around the world that don't really comprehend or, or have a visual of what's occurring here in California. And so this video explains it all. Now, God bless them because they have uh, give, made this creative comment uh, okay for reuse. And that just shows you they want to reach as many as po people as possible. So I just want to show you a visual and then I want to talk to you about what God has shown me. There's no audio really, just the chopper blades, but I want to show you something. Okay, so this right here is the Sacramento River. And I'm going to show you a weir I've, I've shown in the, the, see this right here, this pyramid thing, this is the money store. So that would make this, uh, if I'm understanding this correctly, that would make this I-5 over here and this uh, 80. So this is West Sacramento, which they call Yolo County, Y-O-L-L, -O, uh, looking towards Sacramento. Uh, downtown in the Sacramento County area. This is the money store. Now watch, you're just going to be amazed at this. So this 80 right here you're watching with the traffic on it pours out from North Sacramento down to West Sacramento. It bypasses uh, 5 and drops you right down by the Yolo Bypass it's called. Look at, the, the, look at that level of the Sacramento River there. So on your right, you're seeing downtown Sacramento. And then when you come up on this, you're going to see a part of something I've shown in the past. There is no more room for any water anywhere. I showed you how uh, saturated my backyard is. There's just no more room for any water anywhere. Everything is saturated again. Now this is Sacramento and Yolo County here, West Sacramento. So watch this. This is the part that amazes me. I made a video about this water intake thing right here in 2012. This is the water intake. See this white thing right here? This is the water intake for uh, Sacramento. This is 80 and this is the, this looks like to me to be part of the Yolo bypass, they call it the causeway. And 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 the the pilot and whoever e uh, edited this video will show you the exact areas of where they're at. But this is coming a wide area. That might not be the bypass. I always thought it was bigger than that. It's hard to tell from this angle, but as you can see, again we're still looking at the Sacramento River. So this is the bypass, I believe, right here. Yeah, so this is the bypass. So this 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 goes from Sacramento 
uh, it's West Sacramento on the west side, on the east side, strike that. And then on the west side, you drop down towards Davis and Dixon, California, heading on westbound Interstate 80 to go to the Bay Area, Vallejo, San Francisco, Oakland, etc. And then this is going out south into like the San Joaquin Valley, the Tuolumne River, those type of rivers down there. So this is, now you're looking south, if I'm understanding this correctly. Just look at all the water. Remember, we are in a drought. What do you think about this? We are in a drought. Look at this. Okay, this is a Fremont Weir. This is Sacramento County, Fremont Weir, as it says, wildlife area. So again, we're still in Sacramento County. It's a survey of the river systems. Now remember, this was yesterday. Before the major storm has hit, we're still awaiting the major storm. This was yesterday. Tisdale Boat Launching Facility, T-I-S-D-A-L-E. I'll put a link to this. And we can go, I just want to see how widespread this is. Calusa County, California. So, Calusa County is uh, north, north of us, as is Butte County north of us, by about 45 minute drive from where I'm sitting right now. And things north come south. Maxwell, I think, I believe he's going to show the Maxwell area and stuff. Total evacuation, underwater. Um, and uh, on an I-5, remember we, we talked about the vision in I-5, runs right through Maxwell. I-5 runs right through Maxwell, Interstate 5. I believe we're looking at 5 right here, heading, uh, apparently it looks north up into Maxwell. Interstate 5 at Freshwater Road, look. My vision driving down I-5, fire flood remember this people please comment because the world is watching us and how we're going to react please comment that in 2012 god almighty gave me a vision while driving down interstate 5 and this is interstate 5 fire flood power outage and then an earthquake this is the city of william so this is interstate 5 at points of interstate 5 right here and you can google earth all this stuff I think I'll pull up a map. At points of Interstate 5 right here, it was shut down to one lane across the entire thing. I'll pull up Google Earth after this. I'll show you Williams and Maxwell. So, there's people out there watching out for us and we pray for them. Just having faith. So there is only one God. And there's only one way to God, and that is Jesus Christ. And uh, God Almighty showed us this in advance. According to his word, we can stand on and trust his word. On September of 2012, prophecy update on California, fire, floods, earthquakes, loss of power. Same area. My vision, flood, fire, earthquake, loss of power, while driving down Interstate 5. September 7th, 2012. And so now we are watching footage of what God showed was coming to pass. And my goal here as a minister is to let you know how real God is. And then how we have to have faith to please him. As we sit in the midst of the storm, in the eye of the storm, we have to have faith. Prophecy update. California fires and floods and earthquake and loss of power. Uh, it's the same area. So I want to show you Maxwell, Williams and Maxwell, 7th Street right here. September 7th and then at 7th Street. So this looks like C5 right here. Running right through an area and then I want to pan out. I kind of want to give you an idea of Maxwell. Interstate 5 was shut down to one lane, a major interstate that runs all the way up through Oregon from Southern California, actually beginning uh, where Mexico ends and uh, Southern California starts. Over here, Gridley, this is my dad, 
this is all flooded and it's going to worsen my dad is in Gridley right here big uh, major flood warning uh, in this area Linda it's about uh, five minutes five minute drive north of us and then we sit right here in Plumas Lake Nicholas major flood watch um, Rio Oso Pleasant Grove Knights Landing Zamora all under major flood watch Pleasant Grove and just continuing just all you have to do is really follow the river so on the on this interstate 80 right here is that crossover they were showing it leaves out it goes through like I said Davis and Dixon and then ultimately to the Bay Area Fairfield is where I went to school and grew up for some of my life and then you come out here and now you're in the Bay Area so and this is for people that aren't from here you can kind of get an idea Berkeley Oakland San Francisco right here and now as you pan back out the area that all of this is is at risk I mean this is just a bunch of rivers and lakes to be honest with you and several dams and uh, what are we gonna do what are we gonna do I'm not gonna give you any instructions on what I think you should do other than trust God I'll show you where the dam is but I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna tell you it as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ so the dam is up here, right here at Oroville, and, uh, and it all comes down. So it's, uh, what was that? So let me tell you what I'm going to do in the, the midst of all this. Oroville Dam, Sacramento, and we are like basically right in the middle. And this is uh, I-5 basically flooded out. So I'm going to tell you that I've heard from God and I'm going to trust him. I'm not giving any advice. This is my own personal belief. Do not take this as advice as to what you're to do in an emergency situation. That's why I opened up showing you Cal OES because they have very good footage and uh, they're allowing use of this. But let, let me, let me tell you what God has told me in prayer today. Please listen to this. In prayer today, waiting on this storm as someone directly affected by these warnings, receiving them on our phone and our cell phone and email. And I'll show you Twitter. Uh, this can be really stressing. And uh, I was praying, thank you, Jesus, to have this opportunity to reach people for you, Jesus. I praise you. I thank you. I love you. I extend my faith to you, Jesus, in all areas of my life. Do you know him? Do you know him? I found him at the age 15. He saved me from that horrible Bay Area situation I was involved in, living on the streets and sleeping in a park and on my way to jail. I ended up joining the Navy, and uh, I gave him my life. 37 years ago, I gave him my life, and now I sit here in the midst of a storm at 10 37 a.m what are you gonna do paul and i hear this this song play in the eye of the storm and yeah i put a link to this song and the lyrics just hit me so hard in the eye of the storm you remain in control and in the middle of the war you guide my soul i want to go into a couple of psalms here you alone are the anchor when my sails are torn. Your love surrounds me in the eye of the storm. When the solid ground is falling out from underneath my feet. Between the black skies and my red eyes, I can barely see. When I realize I've been sold out by my friends and my family, I can feel the rain reminding me that in the eye of the storm, you remain in control. A situation arose last night here where I sit, where I had to lean on Jesus more than ever, ever in my life. And uh, I asked Jesus to be true to his word. 
I asked Jesus to honor his word. I told Jesus that I was counting on him to, to keep his word. And in, in other words, in the emergency scenario, I asked Jesus to simply keep his word. So I want to read you the two psalms he gave me, and we're going to go into some a little bit of a warning here and show you what's to come. I'm telling you what I'm going to do is pray. I'm not going to run. You know, I'm going to talk about Psalm 23. A lot of people are saying, run, get out of there. And I'm just not, what God is showing me is that this house was built on him. And when the waves come, he said, and when the waves come, crash you know against your house it'll it'll remain standing because you didn't build your house on a foundation of sand and lies and but you built it upon him the one who created the sand and he's told me i'm going to spare your home and i'm going to spare your lives and so i ask well where could i run what 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 part of this area could i run to to be safer the word Jesus has told me to stay. Could I run into gangland and end up getting shot? Could I run, it, run into an area that has a fatal outbreak? Could I run into an area where, you know, we get hit by a semi-truck? Could I run into an area where the, 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 the surrounding flood surrounds our car and swallows us up? Where could I run to, saints? This is teaching us to lean on Jesus more than ever before in our lives here in California. I don't care what people are saying. God loves California. He's going to spare this house. You're going to see me come back a week or two weeks, still standing and still sharing him on this channel. On this channel. Where would I run? Psalm 23 says, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. You know what shepherds do? They watch over people and protect them. He maketh me to lie down in greed pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. Everything's calm right now, like I said. He restores my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table for me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Psalm 91, I will, uh, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will save the Lord. He is my refuge and my fortress, my God. In him will I trust, and he will deliver me from the snare of the fowler and the noisome pestilence. He's going to cover me with his feathers. He's going to be my... I won't be afraid. And so, last night in prayer, and this morning in prayer, I was like, amen, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. I was like, dear Jesus, in your word, it says you'll protect us. Dear Jesus, in your word, it says you'd heal my wife. Dear Jesus, in your word, it says you strengthen us. Dear Jesus, I want to remind you that you wrote in your word that said you would keep us and you would comfort us, and you would not leave us helpless, and that you would never leave us or forsake us, that you would save us, that, that our name is written in a book of life. In your word, Jesus, I want to remind you. I want to remind you that you said you're faithful and just to perform your word. And, and he gave me, I woke up this morning. I'm like, you know, all I knew to do is say, look, Jesus, this is what your word says. <sighs> because there's so much more coming. This is a big test of faith. While, while things crumble all around us, our governments crumble at the highest level. Our, our, our peace crumbles around us. It looks like we're heading to war and all this stuff. And his word says, you know, his word. What's playing out right now is his word. And he says he will draw all men unto him. And so I stand on his word and tell you that we're going to be all right here. And I have no fear at all. And when I woke up this morning, my wife was better. My faith was anchored in him. And he spoke to me and he said, I'm going to keep you. 
and I'm going to preserve you. I want you to show the world your faith. So I offer up my faith right now to Jesus Christ. And as I came in here in my office here, this ministerial office that Jesus has blessed me with to, to pray, he showed me Zechariah 1. And that he's angry. And I don't speak this as condemnation. I speak this as knowledge. That he's, he's displeased. But he gives an option in Zechariah 1 verse 3. It says, turn unto him. And I will turn to you. And don't do as your forefathers did. This is what I'm doing. I'm, I'm turning to him. Knowing he's angry. And I, I'm reminding of, of his word. Let's go to Twitter and show you what's coming, and uh, I'll tell you no fear. There, there's no fear. There's no fear in this man. My only fear is that of God, not man or storms, because he made man and he made the storms. So here's uh, North. Uh, we're following this uh, National Weather Service out of Sacramento here. You see the maximum wind gusts and the, the, the heavy rain and red area all up and down the valley i just showed you where i live my wife lives my family lives her family lives my my dad lives it's all red literally for like the next 24 hours and and it will continue this won't be the last storm some of the areas down south are expecting 5.7 inches and let's go get and here's another good one uh Atmospheric river to unleash wettest storm of the season, San Francisco. That's why I showed you the Bay Area. Brother Todd, Hidden Bride, just texted me. He's getting ready to land in Oakland in the midst of all this. He's going to land right here, right near San Francisco. Major flood threat and power outage alerts going off everywhere. Let's get the latest and I'll close. Hey, what's this? The threats continue. Jewish centers in five states evacuated after bomb threats. People seen that? I ain't seen that. War. Two police officers shot near LA. A lot of different terms used when talking about levy problems. I mean, it just looks all bad. Wave wash. Water side, land side. It's trying to get you the latest here. We're being told right here, be prepared, alert, and safe tonight. There's no way to do that without Jesus. This tabu. Dangerous main event happening now in California. Fears of 7.2 earthquake. See all this? Yuba County, this is a county I live in. Swift water rescue teams to the area. I mean, a famine. You understand that this is not surprising God, and this should not be surprising you if you're putting your trust in Him, and that He will keep you. Let me let me talk directly to someone. There's nowhere to run. During your time of your greatest trial, will you still say, "Yes, shall I trust Him?" Like Job said, "Yes, shall I trust You, Jesus?" Whether you be Jewish or Hispanic or African American or doesn't matter. What God is asking you right now is will you trust me to perform my word? And what Jesus is saying is I'm returning. Will I find faith on the earth? This house right here says yes and amen to all and, and more. We will pour out our heart. We expect in a, in a, maybe three hours, more or less, only God knows. That is going to start getting really windy. We're expecting wind gusts of 60 miles an hour up and down the valley I'm in. And uh, two inches of rain in 24 hours uh, at a minimum. I'm going to get out there with my cell phone and I'm going to pray and take the latest footage. Matter of fact, the wind is picking up right now. It may not be three hours. It's 12 minutes to 11. I'm going to film this and put it up and let you know that look at this storm. And then look at God, how he kept us through this storm. What storm are you facing where you're at? And are you trusting God through it?